Factor polynomials. Are you ready? Yeah! Yay, Matt? Yay, Matt! Yeah, it never gets old. <laughs> okay, factoring polio string cheese. Okay. Maybe you're comfortable. With foiling, so try to foil this one. I'm sure you're good at it by now. I'm sure you're good at it by now. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have an answer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. X squared plus five x plus six. Okay. <laughs> Equals. Wait. X squared. I'll write slowly. Plus five x. <laughs> 5x. 5x. 6. Wait, how'd you get 5x? 3x plus 2x makes 5x. Oh, oh, you didn't, well, you didn't do that way. step. By now, that's where we are. Okay. Wow. Okay. I don't know So, just to make it clear, you probably know that this is the F term. Yeah. 5x is O and I. Outer and inner terms added up. 6 is the L. Okay. Now here is the task for today. The task for today is to go from here to here. So say bye. 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 I'm sure he'd really appreciate that. Or she or it. Okay. <laughs> can you go from here to here is the question. That's what we're going to do today. You can do anything you set your mind to. You can do anything you set your mind to. Okay. So, here's how I think of factoring. The first step. If we're going to go from here, reverse, I know that my answer will look like this. So at least I write the parentheses. At least I write the parentheses. Then I say, okay, I know the first term is the F term. First times first. So what times what makes x squared? Yes? x times x. x times x. So we put it in. <coughs> I know it's kind of strange because we already know the answer, but it'll help us walk through it one time. Okay, then I look at the 6 and say, how did we get the 6, do you Wait. think? How do you, yes? Why do you skip the 5x? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Why do we skip the 5x? I'll tell you in a minute. Wait. 6. Yes? Well, if, if you figure out um, what you need to do to get the 6, then you already know what you need to do for the, like what you'll end up getting. Yes and no. If you figure out what you need for the 6, possibly you'll get what so you need for 5. So don't really worry about Yes, yeah, 6 is more, is, is as sure as F is L. Because F is what times what equals X squared. And L is what times what equals 6. And O and I, you already have to add. So and O and I are going to add, yeah. We're going to write that soon. So, what times what equals 6? 2 times, two times three. 3, or? 3 times 3 2. 3 times 2, or? 6 times 1. 6 times 1, or? 1 times 6. All right, so keep that in the back of your mind. Think of all the numbers that multiply to 6. Factors. Okay. So, we try 3 and 2. Try 3 and 2. Um, yes. How do we know? Do we just know that it's addition because that's addition as well? In this case, yeah. We know since these two are addition, these two will be addition. Well, what if it's two negatives? We're, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So for now, leave off the signs is what I'm saying. Leave off the signs in the learning process. Okay? And then we do a quick foil to check in our minds. So let's quickly foil this. So what do we got? X squared. X squared. Alright, what's the um, next term? 2x. 2x. Notice I'm not putting any signs. 3x. X squared 2x. 3x. And 6. And 6. Okay. Good job. So, we look at this. We say, can we somehow, possibly, maybe, hopefully, combine 2x and 3x using addition or subtraction to make 5x? Yeah. Yeah. We can. What? What do these need to be so that they become 5x? Addition. They need to be, yeah, 
They need to be positive, and we need to add them. All right? Question. Um, it's, can you also like do the diamond problems? Diamond problem. That's a method. That is a method. It's fine. Okay. That's not how I'm going to teach it, but oh, okay. there are many other methods. Yeah. So for now, two x and three x add up to five if both are positive. So if two x is to be positive, wouldn't you agree that x needs to multiply by positive two? So here is a plus sign. And if three x needs to be positive. Wouldn't you agree that positive 3 has to multiply with x? And then we confirm in the L of our FOIL, right, the last term, 3 times 2 is 6. These two combine to make 5x, and we're done. So this is the answer, right? It was a simple example, but it walks through the process. Okay, we're going to try another one now. Factoring is as crucial to algebra as, like, a curveball is to baseball, or you know, if someone says they're a baker, and it's like, okay, so how's your apple pie? It's like that. You understand the analogy? Maybe. No. No. Okay. <laughs> if I said I was a baker, you'd probably think I have a pretty good apple pie, right? Yeah. Okay. I if I said I was good at one. algebra, I'd probably be pretty good at factoring. Ah, oh, gotcha. All right. Oh. I'm glad you asked for clarification. Okay, <laughs> let's do this again. All right, x squared minus, let's do, plus x minus 6. All right. That's a toughie. It's not a toughie. Give it a try. 30 seconds isn't enough to call it a toughie. 